Hi, this is Matthew with RetroEdge.Tech, and uh, what you see in front of you is just a live boot of Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition in a virtual machine. Um, and I'm not going to be showing you stuff about uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, although that's certainly something that I've been playing with, but I've made significant progress with the BSPWM Window Manager, or Tiling Window Manager. I think BSPWM stands for Binary Space Window Manager. And so when I first started working with it, I, I couldn't get it to start correctly. So I'd install it, but when I'd try to log into a BSPWM session, it would just be uh, a blank screen with a cursor and I couldn't launch anything. So BSPWM was actually working correctly but I hadn't set my configuration files um, so that it would do anything. And so it was pretty much a dud, a dead, dead in the water um, until I figured out how to set those configuration files. And I have figured that out and, and I've been working on a script uh, to be able to set that up automatically um, uh, on not any machine, uh, although I'd like to get it broader, uh, but right now I do have it working on uh, Linux Mint and Ubuntu machines. And so that script um, I have downloaded onto this uh, Linux Mint Live boot. So I haven't installed Linux Mint at all, it's just alive. But then I've run this script that I've written um, called BSPWM Assist. And um, it's installed some packages for me. It's installed the um, BSBWM package, the SXHKD package, which controls the key bindings, and then a few other packages um, that uh, help me do a few extra things. So um, it's pretty cool. So on this live boot, it's not installed. It's just, this is all temporary, but then I've run this script that I've written on this temporary machine. So now we're in the Cinnamon desktop environment. I will log out. I'm gonna to go to the menu, click on log out, I'll log out of this session. It's gonna pop me back here. Um, and so in a live boot for Linux Mint, um, the username is just mint. And then the password is nothing. So just press enter and in it goes. I didn't change the session. Let's try that again. So log out. And so that script did install BSPWM, but to change the session, um, there's this little icon here that shows what type of um, session or desktop environment you're running. And because my script did install BSPWM, that is an option. I can click on that, but it doesn't even have a logo or an icon or anything like that. Um, it's, it's pretty low key. It's, it's not branded at all. BSPWM is not branded. So now that I've selected the correct session, I can type mint as the username and then uh, just enter for password. And in, in here I am. Uh, and all I have it set up to do is uh, log in and launch the GNOME terminal, which is the default uh, terminal application in both Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition and in Ubuntu. And I've just temporarily changed some things. Um, so I've hidden the menu bar um, and I've changed uh, some of the settings so that the font size is bigger than you can see. I've turned uh, the scroll bar off. Uh, I've changed some of the colors. I've set the transparency on the background, so there's a little bit of transparency there. Um, so um, when you normally start GNOME Terminal, it does have um, a menu and uh, some scroll bars and that sort of thing. But I've changed it here to be more minimal. Um, but as you can see, uh, it didn't uh, adjust to my monitor size. Uh, so I have installed um, that script that I wrote installed a little tool called LXR and R, and 
I'm just going to run that and it's going to pop up here and then I can change my screen resolution. The 1920 by 1080 is what this monitor is. I'll apply and uh, then it's saved. And if, if I exit out here, I'm still in that. And you can see that um, the resizing um, for the background still is on the old resolution. And I've set some hotkeys to just be able to load in um, the background again, um, and even to change the background. So I can press a key and change the background like that. Now I've preloaded that in my um, SXHKD um, script that I can key bind, I can set key combinations to be able to execute different commands, including a command um, to be able to set the background like that. Pretty cool. Um, and if I told you the keys that I'm pressing right now, that wouldn't matter because they're a custom setup that I did and you can, you can set those. Um, there's some default um, key bindings for launching a terminal. Um, so super and enter is, I believe, a default um, in a lot of tiling window managers to be able to open a terminal. Um, but I have also set uh, control alt T to open a terminal as well, because that is the default in um, Cinnamon and Mate desktop environments that I, I like. Control Alt T is that. Um, so I've kind of kept some of the key combinations, or when I set up my script to be able to do them, um, I retained some of the key combinations um, that are in Linux Mint. For example, to change the, the virtual desktop to go to a new workspace. Um, I believe in Linux Mint and several other desktop environments, it's control alt and then the arrow key. And so I key bound that to be able to do that. And so I'm gonna go control alt uh, right arrow and it takes me to the next workspace and then control alt left arrow and it brings me back. Um, and then I've set up super um, and then arrow to be able to change the focus um, of the um, which tile I am looking at. And then I've also set Super M to uh, go to monocle mode, as it's called, or it's really full screen. And then you can see uh, around here, oh, my virtual machine thing popped up, but you can see in between, I've got some spacing. So I've set the spacing so that you can see um, uh, in between the tiles. There's some spacing in between the tiles. And if I launch more tiles, um, so I have another keyboard shortcut for launching uh, Firefox. And so up Firefox launches. Um, just click on start new session there. See, we're in Linux Mint Live. And then I can use my arrow keys to um, go uh, to the different tiles that are on there. And then I've also set um, a shortcut key to be able to close a tile as well. So just close that window and then it closes. So it's really fast. Um, and uh, uh, um, another cool thing, uh, I guess just to show off a little bit of the tiling window managers, let's open up uh, Firefox again. That's in focus. And then I can move it to another desktop. And I believe that I have set that to um, Windows Shift and then Number. And then, uh, and then um, Windows, and that number is that desktop. So I have moved um, the tile for Firefox from desktop one to desktop two. And now when that I'm on desktop two, this is the only tile that's there. It's in focus. I can press um, my hotkey combination to move it back to um, desktop one. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what a tiling window manager is. Essentially, I've got tiles and I can open them um, and move them around, but they're in set spaces. So in a stacking window manager, which is what for sure you are probably using, there's stacking window managers and tiling window managers. Um, in a stacking window manager, you can overlap windows. One window can cover another window. In this case, um, the default setting is for that every window is in a tile. 
Now, there is a way to have floating windows, but that's not the default way of working with windows. And you also don't just grab the mouse and, you know, grab and move, move a window around, you know. Normally, in a regular window manager, say like in the Cinnamon desktop environment, so the Mate or the GNOME or KDE desktop environments, you grab the top of a window and, and you can move it around. Um, not so here, I'm, I'm, I'm unable to move them around uh, with the mouse. Uh, but I can close the windows and move around the tiles. I haven't set up the moving around the tiles shortcuts yet, um, but you know I can close the window in focus, um, close all the windows, uh, open a window again, uh, open another window, open another window, uh, and then move the focus between them, uh, and then move it to a different desktop, um, cycle through the desktops, be able to shift back and forth. So that is what a tiling window manager is, and I am happy that I have been able to uh, create a script that sets up the configuration for BSPWM on Linux, Mint, and Ubuntu. I think it's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm learning more about how to configure it to my liking, and right now it works very well on a desktop. Uh, I don't have any dock. Um, a lot of or bar or status bars or anything like that. And if you were on a laptop, um, you might want something to have battery indication or that sort of thing. And there's a number of docks and bars to be able to set up things. One's called Polybar. I'll probably experiment with that. But I'm actually really liking the super minimalism of not even having a bar. There's no clock. There's no battery indicators. There's nothing popping up and saying, oh, you've got this or you've got this or system notification about that. It's just the windows that I want to have open or not. That's it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I, I really like that. I, I think that that is pretty neat, that way I can focus on just what I'd like to focus on. And that's it. So that's a quick overview of the BSPWM window manager on Linux Mint. I successfully set it up and have begun the configuration process. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.